everyone, it's Terry over at Decorated More with Tip. Welcome back to Craft With Us. Today we are going to be focusing on a spring wreath. Tammy over at Patina and Paint, Corinne over at Junk to Gems, and myself are going to be sharing different types of uh, spring wreaths that we are going to style in our home. So I hope you enjoy. I am going to take a sunburst wreath that I found at the thrift store for like $5. Sorry, I see a lot of glare in my um, glasses, but I can't see without them. I am using my Starburst Grapevine wreath. I found this wreath at a thrift store. Always check out your thrift stores for wreaths. The bases are always good. They might not have the most prettiest decorations. Remember to look past the ugly flowers that people had on the wreaths. I'm sure they've been faded or they've been worn. They're ready to be retired, but you can take those off and have a really nice sturdy base. So always keep an eye on them thrift stores. I am going to take five of my stems that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to snip them into two sections and then I'm going to stick them in my wreath and we're going to have a pretty airy springtime wreath. It'll take you longer to cut the stems than put them in there. It might not take more than 10 minutes. So let's get started. I'm going to cut my stems, maybe the first one 10 inches and for the other one I'm just going to cut it give me a stem as well. So I have two stems that I can use out of that one Dollar Tree stem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking my stems and sticking them in my wreath and letting them just stand by themselves wherever they wanna fall. On this type of wreath, when you work in a starburst, go all the way around the wreath in the same direction. You can use glue if you want. You know me, I like to remove my flowers at the end of the season so I can change it up next season or the next time I use this wreath. And let them just kind of be airy. Don't try to tuck them in and place them. Just let them fall wherever they want. I already cut my other four stems so you don't have to watch me. <laughs> so I am just placing these all over and then I will um, come back with some fillers to fill in because I've got some, some short pieces as well. I'm not really placing them in, in any certain position. I am just trying to fill in my wreath all the way around first to make sure that I get the longer stems in place. And now I will start filling in the gaps. And you know I like yellow, so this will really look good on the door in my living room in the corner. Now I'm going to use some small pieces on my stems. If I stuck them into the wreath and some of the bottom flowers got tucked in, I just cut them off because I didn't want to lose those flowers. I need to place them other places. So I am just tucking those in to fill up my wreath. And I just used five of the um, Dollar Tree twigs. It really goes a long way. And I'm not using glue or anything and they're staying on pretty well. It's really easy. Just poke and place and you have yourself a pretty wreath. I've got my last one. I'm looking where I need it here. So there we have it. We have a beautiful spring wreath that only took us a couple minutes to make. Another cool thing I wanted to mention is Tammy, Corinne, and myself are joining in with a few other bloggers up on the blog to um, show some spring inspiration. We have some really neat items to share with you. So go check out my, my blog to where you see how I style my wreath. And then at the very bottom of my page, I have everybody else's picture where you just click on their name and it will take you over to their spring inspiration. So I hope you go check out the blog and see how I style it in our home. Also, don't forget to go check out Corinne and Tammy and their wreath and what they're going to be sharing with you up on the blog. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or a red heart to show me that you do like it and you want to see more of my videos. That's how I'm going to know if you enjoy my videos is 
keep on coming back and watching. Go to my page and follow me so you won't miss any of my tutorials or my pitch, picks of the day. And another thing I wanted to say is I hope you enjoy my blog. I know I do videos here, but I would love for you to check out my blog where I have some picture tutorials as well as my videos. Subscribe to my blog so you can join in Decorate and More with Tips newsletter that you will receive every time I publish a blog. So that being said, I hope you enjoy um, your day and keep on watching and come back for more. Have a great day and God bless.